four new joints added to the collection from the Middle East. Stay right there. After the intro, we're going to talk about it. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back again with another video. I got four new joints all from the Middle East. I'm ready to dive into it. We're gonna have a little discussion about it, okay? I'm not gonna try to run down all the notes or whatever. I'm gonna give you a brief description of what's inside of them or a few of the notes that's inside of them and what they're cloning. That's all we're gonna do. But before we do all that, you guys know, like, comment, and subscribe, share the video, all right? Do me that favor, share the video. Hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, whichever way you feel, okay? That's all, and please let the ads run. Now, with my bird man hands rubbing, I'm gonna start this thing off with a fragrance from the house of Art Al Zafiran, and this is Durgan. Now, I did a first impression on Durgan limited edition which is the all gold bottle love it man it's dope it's coming up for the spring summertime those are dope fragrances but this is a little bit different right i heard some great things about this here's the presentation of the box okay nothing spectacular just a regular box but it did come with this little ribbon on it all right but i tried to speed up the process of doing all this okay open up the box and then the fragrance it's right here, okay? Nothing else inside the box. Toss that box to the side. But there's a fragrance right there, okay? Very simple, very nice and classy, all right? Now, some of the notes in this. You got lemon, bergamot, you got jasmine, you also got lavender, you have rose, cardamom, and I believe vetiver, as well as cedar, okay? Now, this is supposed to be a nice spring, summer fragrance right here from what the notes are telling me but let's see what it is for real it's atomizer not bad not the greatest fresh citrusy floral sweet and woody yeah this is nice Damn, this is, this is what you would call a very good office fragrance or a very good spring and summer fragrance. Very bright. Again, fresh and citrusy at the top. Yeah, I can see leaving this in my locker and rocking this on occasions. Or at least leaving a decant in my locker. That's what I might do instead. Keep the bottle here so I can freshen up. I can apply it first thing in the morning. Leave, go to work. Have a few hours with it. Around noontime, refresh. Adar Zephyron Durgan. This is very nice, man. Again, I don't know what it's cloning. Hold up. This is almost a lighter version of Amourage Reflection Man. Amourage, Amourage Reflection Man. This is like a lighter version of that. This is nice, boy, I tell you. Holy snap, that's good. Yeah, I'm thinking a fresher version of Reflection Man. That's nice. Okay, I'm mad that I threw the box all the way over there, though. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is from an offshoot of La Taffa. It's Mason Alhambra. This is the Tux. All right, so now you can see the imperfections in this. This is kind of like off. It's not centered. Okay, it's an EDP, and this is, again, this is a Tux. This is supposed to be a, 
clone of YSL Tuxedo. All right, here's a presentation. And right away, you could tell that's exactly what they're going after. It's exactly what they're going after. I just wish that they gave, if you look at the bottle, looking at it, it's a lot of glass there. I wish they would have gave you more juice and less glass. But yeah, they're definitely going after um, Tuxedo. The way this thing is, is made, the juice color, the presentation, as far as the, as far as the bottle, it's definitely going after Tuxedo. Spicy, floral. Ambery, this is good. This is really good. Man. Yeah. I can dig this. I can smell this all night, man. This is just a pleasant scent. Some of the top notes, floral notes, spicy notes, patchouli, amber, vanilla. Ah, oh, the tux. Wow. For the price of this thing, you know, I got to spray this on my skin. For with the price I paid for this thing, man, shoof. Why would anybody want to buy why I sell tuxedo, to be honest? Um... And I'm just talking about price. I'm not talking about the quality of the juice and all the other stuff. I'm just saying, wow. Wow. These these Middle East companies, man, they're starting to show, like, yo, we're here. You know, we're, we're definitely here. Next one, from the house of Mason, Mason Alhambra. This is Kismet Moscow. I love that presentation, man. Look at that. That's a very nice presentation. I have <laughs> Back to Black by Killian. And that presentation is almost the same. The only difference is the coffin on that thing is metal with uh, Killian. But um, the way that thing sets up in presentation is just like that, pretty much. Identical other than, like I said, the presentation or the case of it. The coffin is metal on the Killian. But there's the bottle there. It also has that, almost like that imprint that Killian gives you on the side, but it's printed on and not part of the uh, the artwork or the glass. But this is a nice presentation, man. Nice weight to the cap. Very heavy metal with some plastic inside. All right, let me get the aperture pointing the right way. All right, here's, here's the atomizer. Really not that good. Not good at all, actually. I mean, gotta really get it to the, get it close to the skin to get it on you. Well, let's see what this is about. It's supposed to be a clone of Vodka on the Rocks by Killian. Very citrusy. You get that Vodka vibe, or that Vodka on the Rocks vibe. It's bright. Right as well. It's office safe, man. I think I have a couple samples of that vodka on the rocks. I gotta put it to the test, but from what I remember, it doesn't quite smell the same. This is, has a little bit more of a sweet vibe to it. And it's a little smoky as well. I like it though. Very nice office friendly um, fragrance right here office friendly fragrance very nice man Mason Alhambra Kismet Moscow I like that yeah I think I let me see got a few days that I can you know get that in get some wearing on it all right lastly this is the last of the four from the house of Latafa my ear legacy okay now, this thing has a crazy presentation, man. You know, 
very huge box. I think I gotta take this ribbon off. It's got a ribbon right there. Gotta take the ribbon off. All right. Now let's get to it. The presentation. Look at the head. The head of the the horse. It's, it's wobbling around, so it wasn't on it tightly. It do click in place though. I wouldn't hold it by the cap. Yeah, you can't hold it from the cap. It'll, it'll definitely come off at some point. Okay, atomizer. Better than the other one. This cap is heavy, man. Okay, let's get to know this one. Okay. Some of the notes in this, you get spearmint. You're getting lavender, black pepper, rosemary, juniper berry, amber uh, and broxen oak moss and vetiver now this one's supposed to be a clone of parfums de marley sedley or sort of like abercrombie and fitch fierce man this is sharp and bright and in your face citrusy fresh it's green Yeah, that's what I'm getting out of so far. That spearmint. This is one of those fragrances that you want to spray first thing in the morning when you're getting out the shower to keep you lively. You know, you get in that shower and that, sh that, that shower wakes you up. But then you spray something like this, it gives you an added boost of like energy, like because it's going to open your, your senses, your, your sinuses and stuff like that because it's so bright and in your face. Yeah, this is definitely going after Sedley by PDM, which is also a, a bright, vibrant fragrance. This is the same. Again, citrusy is now it's starting to, you know, settle itself down a little bit. Citrusy, fresh, green, and woody. It's going to be a summertime staple right here, man. This thing is nice. But every time I pull something out new and somebody else smells it, man, they want to buy it. So this is a fresh fragrance. If you're looking for a fresh fragrance, here you go right here. Legacy by Latafa. All right. That was four fragrances, man, added to the collection. I can't put that back in there like that. Added to the collection, man. And let me tell you something. I can't be more pleased with what I have. These things are very nice, man. Very nice. The hardest thing is trying to put this presentation back in the box, you know, and uh, trying to preserve my fragrances, man. Because I did have a couple fragrances that I believe spoiled on me. And that's going to be a topic for another day. But listen, it's your boy Sam Broom signing off. Peace. Back to doing another video.